Good morning, man. The sun is coming in here bright since Hurricane Ida, the remnants of it, came through Kentucky. Our weather has broke. And I mean, we have been in the 70s and 80s. Low last night was 59 degrees. It is beautiful. So I want to say good morning to you that are do-it-yourselfers, the guys and gals of the fix-it world, the people that are making it happen, getting with it. I want to show you my next project. It is, but I want to show you this building before we transform it. And this is a commercial piece of property, has a lot of traffic in and out of it. I'm not going to bring the sprayer on this job here because there's just too many vehicles around. Too much around it is a good morning to spray but you can see the brick still wet from where we pressure washed it yesterday so we can't do any painting on the brick till that fully dries but that is a look at the building I had to go in family dollar i got a question i've got a, a storage place that stays closed up a lot and it's got a bathroom in it it's kind of musty in there smelling uh the bathroom smelling a little bit so i got these you know to try to make it smell a little better in there as i was going through the fragrances that's about the best one i could find but i was thinking why don't they make a plug-in that smells like new tools or a hardware store or something like that for men you know where i walk in my uh, storage place and it smells like uh just smells like a room full of new tools I think that'd be a good thing right there. Somebody invent that, send it to me, and I'll try it out. So we're ready to start painting uh, all the windows all around that. So to show you what we're using for black, of course, I just call my local paint store, and I just say, this is what I'm doing. Get me what I need. So that's what they gave me. Well, I've got to get this uh, tree right here off of the building, get it a little more under control. So I've got the Milwaukee trimmer here we'll get it oh. off of this building Tim you get doing that wind Problem solved. The prep works always the hardest and the longest, but we're getting these windows ready. We'll start slapping some paint on them pretty soon. The transformation is beginning. White's going on, black's going on. Slow process. Well, here is uh, kind of the progress that's going on. There's Jeff, he's painting that window black. There's Tim, he's painting that window black. We're getting the white primer on that I showed you. Getting the black on. I'm uh, around the corner here. It's taking a lot of primer. That brick's really, really soaking it up. And then uh, I'm taking this Kiehl's waterproof sealant, 100% uh, silicone sealant. I know that's probably upside down for you. Got it at Walmart. Boy, it's really sticky, but places where there were shutters, uh, there's just little brick holes and places that uh, maybe you can see right here where the bricks cracked a little bit and I fill it in with that as I'm going along. You can see where we sprayed a little bit of foam and then I'll take a, uh, my pocket knife uh, and utility knife cut that off where it's rounded out and then put that silicone sealant over it fill up the holes where the shutters are and such but it's coming along just wanted to show you that uh that stuff there i'm using. also to show you the gutters are going to be black 
all the gutters are gonna be black, so I took the downspouts off so I could uh, so I could uh, paint behind the wall real good and then we'll paint the gutters black and then I'll put them back up there. The downspouts, I'm gonna take them off. They're gonna start in tomorrow, start painting the gutters across there. That's uh, wh what I'm gonna show you right here is six gallons of primer that I've put on. That brick is really soaking it up. See the black windows? It's gonna look pretty once we get the real paint on it. You can see where we came around the corner right here. And that's six gallons of primer. I'll show you the finished product when we get done. But guys, I thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. I'll show you that when we get done with it. It's been a long day. I'm about wore out. Always remember guys, God loves you. Jesus died for you. Man, I wouldn't make these videos if I didn't enjoy making them and being with you. Y'all have a blessed day. Blessed weekend. Labor Day's coming up. Enjoy it. God's creation. Man, it's good and cool here. It's just been in the low 80s today. See you another video.